name is Brijesh Singh and I'm one of the RPA leaders. I should call it RCA because we call it robotics and cognitive automation because we do bring in some cognitive aspect when we are automating processes. I'm one of the founding members of our robotics and cognitive automation nerve center that we established a few years ago. Uh, I'm also one of the founding members of our machine learning guild and I've been um, at the uh, precipice of this evolution from day one. Towards the end of 2015, early 2016, when we would go to our clients and talk about robotic process automation, uh, immediate question was, how do these robots look like? Do they walk? Do they talk? I mean, are they physical beings? It's all kinds of questions, right? So from there, uh, the evolution is now many of our clients, we see that they have done some degree of proof of concept, they have done some degree of proof of value, some have even gone ahead and implemented several use cases in production. A few are also ahead of the curve, but they have scaled their program. So it's a mix, and gradually we are seeing that more and more clients are coming into the at scale model now, and talking about it, thinking about it, and also executing upon it. I'm running one of those large programs as we speak, actually implementing UiPath, where we are doing an at scale uh, development and implementation. In the next 10 months, we're building about 55 to 60 use cases across six different business functions for this client of mine. I'm currently leading another uh, large program. I think it is the largest right now, where we have to build uh, 55 use cases in the next 10 months. So that is another large program that I'm leading. UiPath is the chosen software there. The automation program, including RCA, is on an upward trajectory. It is not going down, it's gonna go up. Some folks say it has a five years of lifespan, some say 10 years. In my humble opinion, it's 20 plus.